Hi everyone! We're gonna play Resident Evil The Village. I have a webcam, I've got cool mood lighting, and uh, I'm ready. Do you notice that the... it's like pink glow because it's romantic because I hear there's a pretty hot chick here. So I'm kind of excited. So we're gonna go see some big ladies, I think. If I can start the game. Okay, here we go. Oh, girl, we're going on casual because I do not trust myself with one of these things. I'm not familiar with how these things function. I think they're edible. I don't know. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. Okay. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm this is a Tim Burton film? coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. It's her cool. I like tightened, it. And her heart grew heavy. Artistic. Then the fish came ten out of ten. And offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. Oh. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. How does it end? Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. <gasps> Mia? Some more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. It's a big baby. There. She's asleep. Yeah, big baby. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We oh, she's here, so gonna she be a big Tim Burton fan, I just know There's it. There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind, I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid, I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. Okay. Okay. I wasn't we'll finished dinner. I wasn't ready for parenthood. I was expecting big lady. Um, oh, that outfit looks so comfy, though. Oh, Mia, yeah, that's a good outfit. Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. I want to look down, my baby. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. I'm looking at my baby. Looking at my both my babies. Um. Okay. So we're gonna put the baby down somewhere, and I'm thinking put the baby in the carriage. Or what is that? A tr tr baby carriage? Is that what they're called? 
Oh, can you actually put the baby there? Once things warm up, we can go for a walk. Oh, is it cold outside? I guess we saw snow in the loading screen. Okay. We're learning how to play the game and be a parent. This is a cool looking house. I'm gonna throw that out there. I would love to live in a house like this. The baby's gonna open its eyes and its eyes are gonna be red and I'm gonna flip out. Oh, hey, we're back here. <laughs> is this the baby's room? <laughs> Mia? You wanna see the baby? I got the baby, Don't Mia. Don't get too close to me when I'm cooking, babe. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like people in relationships, when they pull out the babe, 94% of the time, it's because they're annoyed with you. Can you take out the trash, babe? Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There. Oh, guessy. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary gassy. for you. It's a gassy baby. I think his name was Ethan. Ethan, I don't know if it was a good idea to pursue a relationship with Mia. Should I put the baby in the toilet? I don't know how to be a parent. Can I look at myself? Guess not. Let's brush your teeth. He has been on medication. I mean, good for her. If she needs it, take it, you know? That's what I always say. Therapy? Therapy's great, too. Do what you gotta do. Make sure your every day is happy, so you don't know when that every day is taken away from you. Um, so when I talk like that, <laughs> when I talk like this, it means I'm generally not feeling oh, great. Keep this around. I um, get rid of it someday. Just recently got my my second shot of anti-pandemic juice and feeling a little a little under the weather still so this looks like a good room this is great um gotta do a deep clean before rose starts walking around okay can we turn on some fucking lights dad okay almost there honey after going in every other room. Oh, this is cute. Okay, so there's there's what the magic happens. And then this looks like a good good bed for Rose. You go on the turtle. This is a cute baby. Usually babies and ooh, let's get you changed. Oh, those are her clothes for tomorrow. So cute. Okay, here you go. There you go, sweetheart. <laughs> Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Let's turn on the the, the merry-go-round. What are these things called? What are those called? Why am I blanking? The, the thing that the spinning thing. I'll turn that on for you, my love. Daddy loves you. Ooh. What's a Windows XP? Me and I had another fight. Oh, is this my vlog? I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago and she blew up at me. We finally settled down in our new life in Europe and can bring Rose up properly. But I still feel like part of me is trapped in that hellhole in Louisiana. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but can we really forget what everything and forget they get everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened without, or happened there, so we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We owe her that much, at least. I know Mia knows this too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. So my love Mia's having a rough time. Parenthood is not easy, I'm sure. What is this? Uh, Rosemary Winter's date of birth. Good. Oh, it's a big baby. It's a big, big, that can't be 14 pounds out of the badge. That's gotta be. Rose is fine. Is Rose sick? Is she gonna be a vampire? Gun survival is heavy paranoia. It's not paranoia if they're really out to get you. Okay. 
don't know how I feel about that mindset. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> Memories like the corners of my mind. Yeah, that's not a 14 pound baby. Oh my god. I wish it could stay like this forever. Baby is very cute. Gotta be an insta baby. Is there anything before the one we just looked at? <laughs> no, okay. It starts with a marriage. Ends with a baby. Good night, baby. Time to go to my wife. I'm just vibing with the look of this house. I really dig it. Okay. Hi, babe. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, uh, well, like a baby. Hmm. <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands Bugs. off, Mister. It's chorba de la gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Hmm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. Uh, Mia, can you, you not? You really have to stop worrying. <sighs> it's just finding you in Louisiana. <sighs> She's aggressive with that wine pour. Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You... Me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <sighs> Oh. Mia, get down! It's a little late for that. Mia! <laughs> what is going on? Did my wife just die? Mia. Oh, Again? God. Is she gonna come at me with an axe? Chris? What the hell? That's Sorry. Chris. No! What? Why? the fuck just happened go on, move <laughs> hey, yeah baby no what the hell are you doing with my daughter package secure sir take him away i said get your hands off her ethan no stop <laughs> I don't know, couldn't we just talk about it? Like, did you really have to murder my wife? I liked her. She was cute. She gave me warm, fuzzy feelings. That's a bit of a downer, isn't it? Duh. Hello. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. No problem. no problem. We'll be there. That was the doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Oh, no. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look. She's gonna be fine. I just know it. What Are you worried matters? about dying? I'd we be worried about that. Matter, Ethan. You matter. You just Mia, what are you, what are you talking, talking about? about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Oh, he spent his time worrying about work. He forgot about his wife and daughter and weird hit out that was on his wife. Oh, it's a baby. I'm a baby. 
I can do a baby face. That's what babies look like. More saliva though. My little angle. Jesus. About damn time. What's your status? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not off my walk over. Fuck. What is going on? What the hell happened to you? Oh, I'm glad we got a flashlight. Are you using our phone? Who is this dead body? Who's this dead guy? Was that the guy who hit us before? Mission eliminate, target, recover bodies, cure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. Move the two Winters to Site C for further investigation. At least two transport offers are officers to accompany them. Okay. Okay. We're gonna go this way. We'll just go to Site C ourselves. Oh, that doesn't look like very good driving. Oh no, I'm making myself sick. Where are we going this way? Oh, poor Ethan. You lost your wife. Your kid's missing. Presumably a vampire. Oh, this reminds me of Silent Hill Shattered Memories. Because it was cold in that game, too. You didn't have a dot. No, you did have a daughter in that game. What am I talking about? You were looking for your daughter. You were a dad. It's the same game. Now we just need ice monsters to chase after me. Okay. It says do not enter. Where? Crouch. Oh, okay. Ethan, where are we going? Put it in the snow. It'll freeze. Okay, we'll stand back up. Oh my gosh. It is unbelievably dark. I cannot- can I see more on the capture? Not really, no. Uh, someone turn on a light, please. Oh no. It's a dead burb. Hello, burb. Oh no, I'm sure this is fine. I wouldn't be too worried about it. Oh. Excuse me, burbs. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, it's fine. I'm sure this is fine. Just don't look back. Keep going. After everything Ethan has been through, this is the least of his worries. Demonic birds trying to kill him. Hello? Chris? Can you explain to me why you murdered my wife? You were supposed to be cool. Also, you got jacked up. I don't remember in the last game you being as jacked. In the previous games, you were just as jacked, but not in 7. Hi, can someone call me a bus, please? My wife is dead. <laughs> oh, good water. <laughs> Thirsty. It's frozen. Is that sinus medication? Well, that sure is. That's handy. Take that with you, Ethan. <gasps> There's a ghost. Oh, let's go be a ghost. Hello. Oh, no. Welcome to the family, son. And he's gonna punch me. It's too dark. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. 
Someone turned on the lights. So I was expecting hot vampire lady. Can I get hot vampire lady, please? Perfect. A rope to hang myself with. I don't know what I'm doing in here. I'm just snooping around someone's house. Oh good. Hello? Hello? Okay, we'll go down to the basement. I guess that's fine. Hello? Is it gonna be someone as spooky down here? We're gonna be spooky all of a sudden? Jesus! Okay, I gotta relax my shoulders. I'm getting a little too tense. <laughs> Goes up. Hello? What's this? Is that a save point? Ethan, what are we doing? What is the plan here? I gotta say, I'm not. No, I don't. I don't. I don't want. Gonna be a ghost. Oh, it was a ghost rat. That's going to be ghost rats. Welcome to the family, son. I just know it. Where is he? Okay. Oh, no. Oh. The hell? Hello? The really... Hello? I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. My, my cat's being cute. Hello? Oh no. Oh, okay, I guess Ethan will just take over now. That's fine. I don't like it inside. Oh, it's laid out. Okay, I feel safe now. Okay. Whew, okay. I don't do well with spooky games, especially when I'm by myself. I asked my friends and everyone was busy, so I guess I was just gonna be like, well, I can play it by myself. I haven't played a spooky game by myself in a very long time. That was my first mistake. Where the hell am I? It's the village! Hello? Maybe they have Rose and Chris Redfield. Do you think he killed my wife because he was jealous he wanted to be my wife? Sure, that's fine. I wouldn't be too concerned about that. I'm not going in any of these fucking houses. Are you kidding me? Not having any of that. Well, there might be loot. There might be like Easter eggs. But there might be spooky things. Oh, like onions. Or garlic. Maybe, maybe they're out. Out of what? Oh, easy to pick. You don't have a lock pick, I would assume. Oh, there's some vampires that got up in here. Ethan, how do you get yourself into these messies? I don't know. Oh, that was a cat, I think. Oh, yeah. We, oh, God, lots of boxes for all the cats. <laughs> Not going that way, I guess. We'll just go over here. This is like an episode of Hoarders, but an entire village of Hoarders. It's a very pretty looking game. I'll give it that. Albeit a bit spooky. I just want to look at my vampire wife, please. I was promised hot big lady. And so far I'm just getting spooky and dead wife. This is some dead wife energy. Hello? <laughs> I 
<laughs> so it was fine. Hey, you know, in in horror games, the number one enemy is yourself. I immediately don't know which direction I came from. <laughs> I'm not really doing a systematic grid search. Oh, is that the... Okay, so I think we came from here? Maybe? I have... Not only do I have face blindness... Okay, I really don't... I don't have that too bad. Just a little bit. If you change your hairstyle, I might be confused as to who you are. But... What happened? I have map blindness. Map blindness... More so than face blindness. Just gonna stand her under the goat's head for safekeeping. <sighs> Where should we go? Which way? Probably. Let's go to the graveyard. That seems like the safer of the two options. 